Called a traitor by Knicks fans, Pat Riley sends his resignation letter via fax and leaves the team for the hated Miami Heat. Well, here's the thing about Pat Riley. He was supposed to come to the Knicks and take Patrick Ewing and turn the team into a winner. They had been through so many coaches, and Pat Riley, coming from L.A., won all those titles with the Lakers. He was supposed to put the Knicks over the top. So after four pretty good years as head coach of the New York Knicks, Pat Riley's contract was up. He was being offered a deal by the Knicks that was believed to be the most expensive ever offered to a head coach in any sport at that time. The the Knicks wanted to give him a huge contract, massive contract, but Pat Riley doesn't want money apparently for some reason. He wanted an ownership stake as well, believed to be about 25% of the New York Knicks, and he wanted a say in personnel matters as well. Then about two to three weeks after the season's over, Pat Riley faxes in his resignation. Oh look, there's, there's a fax from Pat. How do you fax your resignation in to the Knicks that you no longer want to be part of this scenario here in New York? I... Uh, what does it say? What does it say? I... No, I'm not going to meet with you in person. I'm not going to call you. I'm going to send you a fax. I mean, he might as well have just sent it by pigeon. Re... Was... Re... It's coming too slow. Come on, come on. I mean, that's like breaking up with a post-it note if people remember the show Friends. Res- resign. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Here's the FU on top of the FU. I'm going to Miami. See ya. The weather's warm. I'm out of here. Goodbye. He did what? That... So, so he's gone? That's it? He's allowed to do that? He can just, he can just fax in, I quit, and that's all? He's gone? Imagine you wake up on a Monday and fax your employer that you've had such great success with that, in fact, you're done. You wonder why Knicks fans hated Pat Riley? He became arch enemy number one here for Knicks fans, basically like that. Pat Riley, you're just gonna, it's gonna go where it's warmer? You afraid a little cold, Pat? It's a little too chilly for you? You wanna wear a sweater? Here, let me give you my sweater. Don't let the door hit your backside on the way out. Get out of town. Have you seen the fans in Miami? If they're there at all, they're all dressed in white. You know who's always dressed in white? Cult people before they drink the bandwagon juice. See ya. As a fan, I was angry. But, you know, Pat Riley's got to worry about Pat Riley and not anyone else. So, uh... He he did a bang up job down in Miami and you got to give the guy credit. This was definitely a dark day in my life because the height of my Nick fandom was definitely in the 90s and I was, should I say, a little obsessed with Pat Riley, used him in my yearbook quote. I mean, the guy was my hero. You know, Pat Riley did a lot of great things for the Knicks. He he got him to back to respectability. He almost won a, a championship with him. Pat Riley was it here in New York. He brought the cheerleaders. He altered the game. It was the Knicks against everybody else in the NBA. He had built a winner in New York, and he deserved that. The only thing I, I, I could never forgive Pat Riley for was his edict that you weren't allowed to help an opponent up after you knocked him down. I would hate to think that he would, uh, he would uh, tell that uh, to my kid, or maybe I'd knock him down. You know, knowing my luck, I'd fax it in and they wouldn't get it. It would fall on the floor, floor, roll up and roll underneath the desk and they'd never get it. Maybe I'd still be getting paid at that point.